So we're gonna check in on the chickpeas today, also known as garbanzo beans. There's three different varieties that I planted. They flowered at different times, so they're finishing at different times. This is the one that started flowering the first and finished the first. Notice how the plant is turning yellow, brown, drying up, and this part you wanna listen. Hear that rattling sound? That's because the little seeds in there are hard and dried up and ready. Take a look. One of these, these are kind of hard. Open it up here. What have we got in this one? Oh, there's one. There should be, there can be two in each one. This only has one, but yeah, there we go. There's a chickpea. There's a garbanzo bean. Looks just like the ones you get in the store. This particular variety, in fact, is garbanzo beans that I got from the bulk bin at a co-op, organic, and planted them. So these weren't even from a seed company or anything like that. These did the best of the three that I planted. I planted uh, two other kinds that were from seed companies. This kind here, you can see, is also getting dried pods on it. Also rattling. Yep, also rattling. This one, let's take a look. Take a look inside this one. and Oh, and look at that. It's black. Is there something wrong with it? Did the seed go back? No, actually, that's what this is. This is a black garbanzo bean. They're a little bit smaller than the other ones. I don't know if they're intended to be or if this plant just didn't do as well or what. These are from Adaptive Seeds and the seed company in Sweet Home, Oregon. And we'd gotten this because we'd also planted black sesame seeds, so we were hoping to make goth hummus. The third and final variety of chickpeas here. Yep, there they are, rattling away. These are from Franchi, which is an Italian seed company I like to order from. And look at that, oh, there's two. Yeah, you can have up to two, generally speaking. So if there's only one, they didn't both get pollinated, but look at that. See, those did really well, actually. That's really nice. So we're gonna harvest these pretty soon. Uh, at this time of year, there's monsoons that come and dump heavy rain in the afternoons a lot of times. So we want to come out when these are totally dry. And there's the glass gem corn. That's done really well. I planted that in April. It's had a nice long season. It's all started tasseling the last, um, about two weeks ago is when it started. Now it all is all at once, which is great. So I'll go stand in the corn. So you can see how tall it is. I'm six foot two, metric about two meters. So here we're looking at sesame. It's the tall plants with the white flowers. There's some in the foreground. There's a longer row or two rows actually in the back there. Now, I didn't know really anything at all about going sesame. Didn't do any research about it. All I knew is that it was a long season, hot weather crop. Didn't know what family it was in, what it was going to look like. Now these plants are too close together. I did find that out later. I should have uh, had these spaced more like corn. It's pretty cool to look at these flowers. They look like a lot of other things. So what's cool also about this is you can see all the different life stages and you go from the top to the bottom. So on the top, got little buds, more swollen buds, flowers. Then we go further down and, oh, what's this? These are the seed capsules right here going on each side. See that? And then turned as you go down. So, like I said, I've done any research on this yet, but it sure looks to me like that's probably going to dry and be full of many small seeds because, you know, sesame seeds are small.
Looks like these plants are still going strong. Doesn't look like they're going to be done anytime soon. I planted them in March. It's the very beginning of August. I don't know what to expect. October? I have no idea. The pollinators love them. All sorts of pollinators around these guys. That's a big bee. Oh, well, here, here's the amaranth that I planted. There's one packet. It was called marbled amaranth. Different colored seed heads. So I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's just how it is, but boy, they sure are pretty. I think amaranth generally gets taller than this too. I think there's not much nutrition in this particular garden. Really pretty inflorescences though.